really quick review today. I wanted to talk about this microphone for a little while and haven't really gotten around to it. I wanted to just take a few minutes today and talk about this one. A little while ago, I reviewed this Audio-Technica dual-purpose microphone that has a standard output and a USB output. I've gotten this because I wanted something that I could use in home recording with my Mac, going over USB directly to GarageBand, but also be able to take it to the practice space. And I paid about $80 for it. And when I was reviewing this one, I noticed that when I AB tested it against the Snowball microphone, which had been my go-to home recording microphone for many years, I noticed that the Audio-Technica was better. It just had more warmth and bass and texture and breadth of sound. So while it definitely won on the A-B test against the Snowball, I wanted to see how it sounded in the practice space as a live mic, because while it has a USB output, it also has that standard output, which makes it kind of dual purpose, which is why I bought it. Having paid $80 for this and only $23 for this that has just one output and doesn't have the USB, I kind of expected that this guy would win both contests, but what I found was the Behringer actually sounded a lot better. The Behringer Ultra Voice XM8500 is just a better mic in the practice space. This won on the same criteria that this guy had beaten the Snowball. More bass, richer sound, more texture, more breadth. Also a little bit higher gain, it just seemed to pick up more depth in the sound and more volume. Now that was surprising because as I said it's only $23, so that's about a quarter of the price of the other microphone. Compared to all the other mics in my practice space, this one sounded either just as fine or better than whatever else was there. And considering that the Shure SM585 is kind of your standard cardioid mic and that that can run to over $100, this guy at $23, it's a pretty great deal. So if you're looking to buy a new mic and you want something for your practice space or home recording or live gigs, I highly recommend this $23 mic. It feels pretty robust and heavy in the hand. It's just a little under 12 ounces, so it's not super light, but not that heavy either. It is a cardioid dynamic mic, so it does have a little more resistance to moisture, a bit more robust, inexpensive as most dynamic mics are. And being cardioid, the feel that it's picking up is kind of apple-shaped or heart-shaped in front of the mic. So really just picking up what's in front of the microphone and cutting out what's on the side or what's behind. So cuts out a lot of potential bleed from other noises, which is perfect for vocals and for sticking it right up against the amplifier and, and miking up your amp. And then recently I took this out when me and my friend Justin over at Demonic Sweaters put a kind of a portable gig setup together. He was using a Tama Club portable drum kit, and I was using my very inexpensive $135 Pile PA system. We turned up and did a quick gorilla gig in downtown Brooklyn on the pier, and I used this mic with me. So this $23 mic into a $135 PA system that was picking up not just the mic, but also the guitar input, and the sound was great. And you can check that video out. I'll include the link, and you can see the link in the details below. You can check that out for yourself and see that for a pretty inexpensive PA system, the sound quality is more than acceptable for doing a quick live outdoor gig. So whether it's in your practice space with full-on professional PA system and good quality expensive equipment, or whether it's just going out for a quick gorilla gig with a fairly cheap, inexpensive PA system, in either case, this is more than up to the task. At $23, can't go wrong, highly recommend it. I'll include the link to Amazon below if you wanna pick up one of those. It also comes with a pretty good, robust plastic carrying case, and includes a mic clip too, which is really handy. So you can throw the guy right in the case, and the mic clip goes in there too. Just keeps it safe from being knocked around, although it seems pretty robust in and of itself without the case. So given that it's only $23, as I keep saying, for the great quality mic and the case and the mic clip, it really is astonishingly good value. It does not come with a cable, so you need to go and buy your own cable. But hey, for 23 bucks, you can't have everything. So as always, if you like what you see on my channel, I usually share some thoughts around the gear that I'm using or trying out, and I post those roughly every Monday, and then I post some music on a Thursday, whether it's a live performance from a show or a live stream, or whether it's just some cover version I was playing around with at home. If you like what you see on the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so that you're notified when I post new content, and, and hit the like button below. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.